Let's think about some of the things that have prompted people to say that, for example, the Bible uh, is unscientific in the area of creation when it talks about uh, the, the world having been created in, in, in uh, 24 hour days, uh, in periods of 24 hours. The issue is this, does the Bible really speak of 24 hour days? Does it do so also in a way that is different from the Quran? Both of those books speak of yom as meaning either a 24 hour period or an indefinite amount of time. We know in the scriptures that it is said that with the Lord a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. God does not look at time the way we do which points to us that there is something figurative here. And if it is figurative, we cannot use the idea of a 24-hour day and say the Bible is unscientific because it could be an indefinite period. The early uh, commentators on the Injil and the Torah and so forth, even those whom we call the church fathers, agreed that there was nothing in the scriptures that would say that the day was 24 hours. We have an authoritative interpretation of what the Quran says, and that authoritative interpretation is not mine. It is what we call the Hadith. The Hadith is the authoritative interpretation. When the Hadith tells us the Quran meant this, none of us should argue with it, because in Islam it is authoritative. Granted? So, what does the Hadith tell us about the way creation was understood in the Quran. But here's what the Hadith says. For example, Sahih Muslim tells us about 24 hour days because this is the testimony of Abu Huraira reported that Allah's messengers, peace be upon him, took hold of his hands when he had asked him a question about the creation. And he said, Allah the exalted and glorious created the clay on Saturday and he created the mountains on Sunday. And he created the trees on Monday, and he created the things entailing labor on Tuesday, and created light on Wednesday. And by the way, how could, as we see here, the things about trees and so forth exist before light existed, which some people say is something that the Bible is guilty of. How could trees and so forth be there before light? But the Hadith continues and says, that on Wednesday, uh, he created light on Wednesday and he caused animals to spread on Thursday and created Adam, peace be upon him. After Asr on Friday, the last creation at the last hour of the hours of Friday, that is between afternoon and night. So if we must, if we must bring the charge of being unscientific on the basis that something is 24 hours, then we have a problem here, don't we?